definitely play their best when they're out being staff for Texas A&M. One on one, the counts. Shaylee Acker getting her tenth start of the season here tonight. And the count to Macy Graff, who taps one to second. Harper on the first. Malulu at 289. And a problem for both of these teams, and it was back in game one. Two and two. Call strike three. Malaulu is retired. One away. Well, Macy Graff is one of the men very much pinched towards second base. Cook lifts, lifts it out to right field. The center fielder, Ellie Harper, Woolley, and Wiggins in the infield. Grayson Coleman gets College Station. Line shot back up the middle for a base hit. Solid single from Lassi Palapito takes strike one to get out of the jam. And already one thing that's very different from yesterday's ball game. Sendings pitch only gave up four hits, one earned run. Those Stepped up her game in the circle. And gets the strikeout to get out of the jam. Mississippi State's is Reese Berline. Reese Berline. Leadoff spot since March 24th in the Kentucky series. 2-2. This one is lifted to left. Chloe Malaulu drifts over into foul ground. She had a better look at it with Lane of the Sun. Slapped into the gap by Coco Woolley sliding over as Briley St. Clair. Woolley running in a couple of different spots in this order, but really has settled in in the two spot. And here is Trinity Cannon. 0 1 from Burline. This one is hit hard to left and down for a base hit. Being held at third is Woolley holding the runner at third after the hard hit. Here is Cottrell, team's leading hitter at 370. This is chopped down to third, a chance for two, but the runner was on the move. The throw back behind gets away, tracking it down. Going as hard as I originally thought. Just way up the middle, so you know Nadia Barbary was already plenty of time, just aren't able to make an accurate throw over to their teammate. Ryland Wiggins works a walk in the outfield. Ground ball, right side and through for a base hit. Morgan Smith delivered. Coleman, the freshman. To Grounded to deep short. Kennedy throws it. Well, one of the reasons is, is she's healthy this season. Coach Ford, but looking at her numbers this year, it's really paid off. Popped up on the left side. Called for by Wigan to the series is just being cleaner and better. Five runs that they've given up in the first inning. 25. Two and two. Coach Ford talked to us about the first time that she, what she saw from Ackerman that first time out. Her ability to move the ball well throughout the zone, her spin both down in the zone and up in the zone. For Mississippi State, the home run, her third of the season in the lineup. At one point, this but even beyond just the SEC, Wiggins thought about going the second throws. And along those pieces of wisdom, it's definitely been a key to some of these freshmen's success. Daniel strikes out at 15 runs, batted in. What would senior Madison Shipman put in play rather than? putting a ball in play that I could hit with authority like we just saw Ali Enright do right there. You get Allie into it. These young players are around some veteran players who can impart some. Amari Harp. This one is lifted out to left. Mala Ulu has it for out number one. <laughs> Give herself a break. Give herself a little grace. You, you know, know me. Go when you guys busted out the old 2013-2014. Who really? Breaking down your game film from nine years ago. <laughs> Fly ball to Malaulu. Williams is retired. <laughs> you asked I me. I did. Punted foul by Coco Woolley. Call up your fielding. 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. Throw down the first to make sure of it. To retire. Started in the first. They got two on in that first inning. Throwing that rise ball up and out of the zone. The pitch before. I like the aggressive. 
Ground ball to first, no one covering the bag. Good hustle play by Cannon to get over. Going over to the bag, she probably would have gotten there before. Popped up, Harper calling for it. Cook flight out to center in the first. Hands popped out to right field and drops down. Collision between the center fielder and A&M. We saw in the replay. We talked about how these outfielders are going to be in constant communication. It but explosive swing. That one gets away. Here comes Cook and Mississippi State is on the board. Cook to third. And then another Bulldogs. Fly ball to right. Morgan Smith has it to retire the side. The Mia Davidson name is one that we all remember the all-time. Her on notice a little bit. You know, it's family show. Here's a fly ball to start things off. And coming on is St. Clair. To hit 73 home runs. And that would be in the uh, stuff to play later, probably. There's a fly <laughs> ball to right. All to the outfield and a strikeout. Side to those right-handed batters. Coming out of her hand, it looks like it has very... In the dirt, and Wiggins is aboard for the second time tonight. One slapped out the left, and coming on to make the catch is Malo Ulu to retire. The Six strikeouts, very efficient, only one free. A starting off her appearance with a changeup for a strike. Gets the strike. Kennedy, the sophomore from the Woodlands. Misses for ball four, and Hull has walked for the second. That adjustment after being way out in front on the first. To Kennedy. Taps it out too short. The throw on the first by Willie. I think that Hull got a really good. Daniel hit in the second. St. Clair lays down a bunt. It's a good one. Kennedy on the first. Good play by the pitcher. Individuals in the country. They've got a top five strength of schedule. 2 1. Went nine. Kenley Cahalen with the walk off single in support of Montana. Time to swing underneath that pitch for a strikeout. Airs. Game two much tighter. This one's grounded to deep short. Kennedy across the diamond. Yesterday's game 2-1. We've got a tight one here in the third. In the first, Woolley doubled, Cannon singled. Outs or strikeouts. This is line to left and a base hit for Amari Harper. As much, she decides to stay more on the outer half of the play. Blue balls falling behind. This is for ball four, two on with two out. Nice double back in the first inning. Went to her slap game into the right center gap. Woolley fouls it off while she was still in. Woolley doubled and scored in the first, struck out in the second. Did towards left field. Woolley hits it hard and fair. Down into the corner. Call was confirmed by Birmingham. Enough about how great it is and how much. Ball four. Second walk of the change here with Julia Cottrell coming up to the plate. They likes to work that drop ball down in the zone. The 2-0 is lifted in the foul ground. Brownlee has room and puts it. I promise we will bring back the headline. They were down to their last strike. And she came through with the huge go-ahead home run that ultimately lifts Georgia to a Thursday. Kearney was the hero of 4-3 win that shit on Friday to help LSU to a win. And then they won the series with a 9-1 win on Saturday to improve. That one's going to be a really good one between the Tigers and the Sooners. And yeah, again tomorrow. on Tuesday, Oklahoma going to LSU. A couple of good ones tomorrow, non-conference. One on ESPNU, one on ESPN2. Seems to be a common theme for all of these teams. Going to be a good test for the Lady Volunteers. Paige Cook with a cue shot to Woolley at short. It's a one. It happened at Augusta National because it was a lot of fun to watch, and I know it's a big. So much after those first couple of days. 
It was really this exciting to be able to watch him compete. Soft lobby at Augusta. He joked about SLA at coach. We mentioned those marquee midweek LSU with that group at six and six. Florida and Alabama also at six and six. Field base hit. Her first time up. That's fouled off for strike one. Then to follow through with the force. Remember, in I'd like to thank our crew for. And she works a walk. Well done by Valentine. Two on with one down. Who's one for two? Hard and fair. Down into the corner. Mala Ulu up with it. One run is in. Pitcher two that's not going to blow you away with her velocity. She brought in the fifth. <laughs> Popped up on the infield. Third base umpire signaled out immediately. Maddie got tipped off to a unique rule that. <laughs> this one is lifted to left. Mala Ulu. So all they're doing is throwing their hands at the ball between pitch in between pitches when she's out. Tried to check it, could not. Strikes out. Kennedy's being clocked at 73, and Samantha Ricketts, you heard her. Combination of both wrapped up into one. Ground ball to the shortstop, Woolley. Two down. Beat Kennedy, who pitched four and a third for Madison Kennedy. 57 miles per hour. Popped up on the right side. It's put away by Harper. Another doubled in the first, tripled in the fourth. Chopped slowly. The second has to happen quickly. A double and a triple. One, two is down low. There goes the runner. Good. Here with Riley Valentine had a long at bat. Called strike three. Wesley gets the strike out. Patien throws this pitch inside and gets Cannon. Wings at the first pitch, lost the fly ball to St. Clair in center field to retire the CNM on top of Mississippi State 5 1. Holes walk twice tonight. Walks and hits per innings pitch has improved. This is chop to third. Coming on is Wiggins. Right-handed thrower that really likes to work. Cur Little half swing. This is going to be trouble. Kennedy's going to try. See any review here. Cat Wallace comes on the run. In that bat. Popped up. And going back on. Into the short game, but had to run back. Rounded, knocked down by Cannon, and she'll get the tag, and Texas A&M, A&M takes three against Mississippi.